Hi everyone, and welcome back to episode three of Batten Finds the Good. As always, my name is Matt Gillum. I'm a third year Batten student, and I'm the host of this weekly web series where we're highlighting positive news coming out of the Batten community. This week, our theme was hashtag Batten Finds the Grub, um, where we were gonna highlight positivity through food. So that's recipes that people are trying out, cooking experiences we're having, um, and even local restaurants people are supporting. So. First, I want to highlight a new initiative uh, put forward by the Batten community, our new hashtag Batten Finds the Grub community cookbook. So in this community cookbook, you're going to be able to share some of your favorite recipes, look at some of the favorite recipes of other people in our community, um, and really get to highlight some of the cool cooking everybody's been doing. Um, I've already added one of my favorite recipes, um, and I think you should definitely check out the link in our Instagram bio. Um, so you can add yours as well. So next up, we have some cooking content from the community. First, a long form, incredibly long form, recipe video from third year Batten student, Matt Mandel, who shared the making of his favorite at-home sandwich. Watch that. Hello, Batten. Today, we will be making an egg bagel sandwich with two eggs scrambled, red peppers, um, mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese, and pesto on a plain Bodo's bagel. I usually put tomatoes in this sandwich, but we didn't have any, so we'll have to adjust as we go. Okay, so I don't know the exact time that you cook this for, but you just keep an eye on it, and once it looks melty and toasty, you want to take it out. Um... All right, let me see if I can do this one-handed. Okay. This is probably the most challenging part of the assembly process, so please pay careful attention. Okay, once you've got your egg where you want it to be, turn off the stove, and this is where it really, things really get tricky, so. Let's see if I can pull this off. All right. Once your sandwich is assembled, I recommend adding just a little more pesto for some flavor, but uh, that's personal preference. Matt, that looks totally excellent. Can't wait for you to inevitably host your own cooking show because that was just too good. Uh, next, another third year Batten student, Cameron Tarbell, shared a, a couple of videos of her uh, semi-struggling to make some homemade pasta. Check that out. Thanks, Cam. Hope that pasta worked out. Uh, next time, maybe try making a bigger well and it'll go better. Uh, next, we have an incredibly relatable interlude from another third year student, uh, Brenna Gaffney. Hey, Matt. Well, thanks for asking about how I've been cooking in quarantine. Um, unfortunately, I am sad to report that I haven't been doing any cooking because I'm a horrible cook. Uh, I, I, absolutely nobody wants me to start cooking. It would be bad for everybody involved. Uh, I, I usually go with pre-prepared foods, um, like bananas. Bananas are my favorite food. I have one every single day. It's the most consistent part of my life. And really been getting me through quarantine. It's the fact that every single morning I go on a run, drink a cup of coffee, and I eat a banana. And it's my favorite part of the day. I highly recommend, get your potassium in everybody. <laughs> See you soon, Matt. Thanks, Bren. Bananas and coffee are definitely a vibe in quarantine. Next, uh, admissions coordinator Courtney uh, has been keeping up with Bodo, supporting a local establishment very near and dear to all of our hearts. Uh, looks absolutely delicious, and I'm totally, totally jealous. Uh, and lastly, master student Ben Teese and Batten alumnus Hannah Sullivan celebrated the end of finals with some homemade brownie sundaes. And guys, I'm actually dairy-free, but this still 
made my mouth water. Looks absolutely incredible. Congrats on finishing finals. Um, and I know we're all super excited about that. And that's all we've got for this week's episode. Thank you so much for all of your submissions and for all the positive feedback this series is getting. I hope everybody's staying positive uh, as the semester begins to wrap up. And I cannot wait. See you next week.